Bull or bear for Thursday morning? Let's see. I The coin was right, actually. I think it hit a bull left. Oh, was it a bear? I forget. Well, that's the first thing to go, usually. Second thing to go, right? Memory. <laughs> Uh, it's a bear. Let's see what happens tom tomorrow morning. Uh, markets were up substantially today. Meanwhile, check this out. Haven't had this camera up for quite some time. This is the uh, live lower keys beaver, the lower keys underwater cam. Those, I think, are uh, uh, mangrove snappers that are kind of hanging around the pylons right here, wherever this camera is. Um, actually, I want to watch it turn around. I haven't seen this camera in quite some time. Uh, since I've been doing the evening videos uh, 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 in the winter time here, uh, the sun goes down a little bit earlier, so uh, normally haven't been able to watch my normal fish cams. All right, not much to see there. Let's kind of move along. Lower Florida Keys underwater live stream. You can watch this on YouTube here uh, under that name, Viva the La Keys. Really cool cam, especially in the morning. Uh, I'm going to have to start watching it again myself with my cup of coffee and my feet up on my desk. Very calming. I like watching fish. Uh, well, <laughs> here's the uh, quote for the day, which is investing is for what? I've used this quote a few times. I, I really love it. I think it kind of nails it. Uh, investing is for wealth preservation, not wealth creation. So first you have to make wealth, all right? And uh, I think so many people look at is investing as a way to get rich quick. Smart investing is all about wealth preservation. It's not about getting rich quick. There's, in fact, there's very few get rich quick schemes out there that uh, uh, you could call an investment in any way, shape, or form. Real investment is about wealth preservation. Uh, and as I've said many times before, it's not an original quote by me. I've heard it from my father and old timers that you spend the first 50 years of your life making it, the second 50 trying to keep it. And uh, I can't hammer home enough uh, uh, to folks out there that when you're buying gold, silver, and platinum, you're buying wealth preservation first. If it turns into be a great investment per se, <clears throat> well, you know, really, wealth preservation is an investment, okay? It's an investment in your future. It's an investment in your security. It's an investment as you get to be an older person to make sure that you don't uh, uh, die in a gutter somewhere. And uh, I'm sorry being so <laughs> forward with that statement, but it's absolutely true. Uh, you know, there's, there are times that you can speculate and use money to gamble on making big bets, uh, but that's a whole different market that I don't talk about. And uh, I don't believe gold, silver, and platinum are that market at all for most people. You're not going to get rich quick on gold, silver, and platinum. What you are going to do is preserve what you have made at the very least, and most likely uh, do well, you know, as far as other investments, keeping up with the uh, fiat uh, currencies out there and the uh, economic scenes and all that stuff, and uh, security. You're never going to wake up and hear it went bankrupt. All right, now that I got that said, it's something we talk about all the time. Um, let's talk about something different. I've got a couple cool things I want to get into here. First, uh, something that we talk about all the time <laughs> uh, is uh, colossal central bank buying drives gold demand to a decade high. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, let me get a quick sip of water here. Mm. Okay, uh, uh, to a, a decade high, and uh, you know. This is something that's been a theme in my videos for the last couple of years. If you watch even my early videos when I first started, whatever it was, two or three years ago doing these things, um, that, uh, you know, you know gold, you know, they say that don't invest in gold, don't put your money in gold. <coughs> Excuse me there, kind of a little dust in my throat or something like that. Uh, don't invest in gold, don't uh, uh, buy gold. You know, uh, uh, Warren Buffett was supposedly said that uh, gold is just an old shiny rock or something. Uh, though I couldn't verify that comment, by the way. I did uh, do one video on that where I tried to come up with uh, Warren Buffett saying that. And I don't believe he ever did say that gold is just a shiny rock. Uh, but if I'm wrong, let me know. Uh, but meanwhile, uh, uh, the, the most important players out there, the big dogs, the big important players are who? Central banks. And what do central banks own? Again, it's something I've said for years. Central banks own gold. Why do they own gold? Why does the central? Why, why does the United States still hold, supposedly, uh, hopefully, um, gold in Fort Knox? Why, you know, <clears throat> why do we still have gold in our central in our banking system? Why does China covet gold in their central banking system? Why does uh, Saudi Arabia? Why does uh, 
uh, Israel? Why does uh, 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 all the European countries out there, uh, India, why do they all hold uh, uh, money in precious metals? Why are they buying more and more gold? That's, uh, this is a good article here in GATA.org uh, that discusses the uh, demand for, uh, says demand for uh, gold surged to its highest levels uh, in more than a decade in uh, 2022, uh, fueled by colossal, colossal, they use the term colossal, I like that term, <laughs> uh, central bank purchases that underscored, underscored the safe havens assets appeal during times of geopolitical upheaval. Uh, annual gold demand uh, increased 18% last year to 4,700 tons. And again, who is buying this gold? Central banks, folks, the very same people that are pawning off their 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 uh, uh, worthless bullshit fiat paper dollars or paper pesos or paper wands or paper whatever the hell they are onto you cryptos as well in my opinion but i'm not going to go there uh so you know the very same people that want you to load up your pockets with u.s dollars you know uh, dollar bills paper dollar bills paper pesos paper again all these currencies across the world that are fiat currencies the euro which is a, a fiat currency as well uh, what do they all own? They all own gold, except for poor UK, which sold off its gold when back in 1990 for some super cheap at 300 bucks an ounce. I don't even know if I wonder if UK has any uh, uh, UK central banks any, even have any gold anymore. That's that's to be questioned. Uh, <clears throat> And also, speaking of gold, what do you think that Ukraine's gold went? Back in two thir 2014, shortly after uh, 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 what some people call a coup and what some people call a, uh, a revolution in uh, Ukraine, uh, Ukraine's gold was uh, uh, flown off to somewhere in Europe or the United States. So Ukraine actually at one time did hold a gold reserve, uh, but, it's, uh, but somewhere, again, hard to research, uh, Ukraine's gold reserve is sitting in either Europe, United States, or both these countries. And uh, boy, what a coincidence that is, huh? Uh, but not going to go there either. Uh, but what do all these big central banks own? What does everybody covet, including uh, 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 weapons uh, exporters and manufacturers and uh, people that uh, uh, export war? What do they love? They love gold. They all do. <laughs> well. Uh, they even made a James Bond movie about it. Remember Goldfinger? <laughs> so, uh, colossal central bank uh, buying drives gold demand. They're not buying their own fiat bullshit currencies, folks. Uh, well, anyways, kind of this kind of ties into uh, a good article here done by uh, Gold Hit. Uh, gold demand hit 11-year high in 2022 via shiftgold.com. Uh, I I like Peter Schiff. Always been a big fan of Peter Schiff, and as you know, Ted Butler is another guy I've been a big fan of. Uh, but I believe these guys both kind of, in their own way, in their own, you know, uh, focus, uh, understand uh, uh, these markets very well. Uh, and uh, Peter Schiff does as well. Uh, gold demand grew by 18% to 4,700 tons in uh, 2022, the highest demand in 11 years. But guess by who, according to the World Gold Council? Uh, gold buy buying grew mostly uh, by net buying by uh uh, 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 central banks, central banks worldwide. Central banks added 417 tons of gold to the reserves in Q4. Uh, this was due to a combination of reported buying by central banks in Turkey, India, and Uzbekistan. But more or less, folks, listen, the, the sa think about it, the same players that are putting paper in your pocket, worthless paper in your pocket, what are they lining their pockets with? Gold. Why? I don't have to answer that. You know that. I know that. Uh, so, <clears throat> you know, you have to look at this. Uh, why are central banks out there are just stacking gold, 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 gold? And for you silver guys that are, that are thinking, why, you know, why are we talking about silver? Wherever gold goes, silver will eventually follow. Silver, so will platinum. That's why I think silver is grossly underpriced because of uh, a gross manipulation uh, in the uh, CME markets and the uh, other markets worldwide in the silver uh, derivatives market, but uh, uh, that's something we talk about all the time as well. But wherever gold goes, silver will follow. No matter what, silver will eventually follow the price of gold, even if it's still monkey hammered by these crooks in the comics markets. It will follow gold. Uh, and gold is going to be less likely to be, manip be manipulated by these big commercial banks. Remember, silver is a small market, easy for these big uh, commercial banks in the comics. 
uh, to uh, manipulate around. But gold, not so much. Remember, gold's buyers are central banks. You know, think about it, you know. And uh, central banks do not like their assets to be screwed with, all right, even by uh, uh, the uh, banks that they loan to. All right, <clears throat> anyways, convoluted, weird, big circle jerk here. Uh, let me get into, uh, again, good article by Peter Schiff talks about where a lot of the demand has been primarily in gold by central banks out there. They're the ones that are keeping the price of gold up. Think about this. Very important stuff uh, to remember that the very same people, again, that are trying to line your, your, your pockets with bullshit paper are lining their pockets with gold. And uh, most likely it's not at our, uh, our best interest. It's, in, it's at our expense <coughs> and their best interest. A uh, good article in Zero Heads by uh, uh, Peter Schiff that uh, gold demand hit 11-year high. Absolutely true. Gold demand has been very, very, very strong across the board uh, for a couple years. Silver off the hook many times, but uh, again, right now, silver sales are a little bit soft. I think that has to do with the uh, psychological impact uh, uh, of the uh, crooked markets in comics. Uh, that have scarred a lot of silver buyers out there uh, for so many years. That, but the, you know, all you silver guys out there, you have to remember at some point the manipulation by these crooks in the comics markets are going to come to an end. Uh, and the price of silver, because of the fact that silver is used in manufacturing, investment, and so many other areas, and there's not a lot of it available above ground. Available, not above ground in general, but available above ground, which is going to create the bull market that we're looking at and we're going to see explode above above that $50 mark, in my opinion, at some point. And again, it's not a matter of when, it's a matter of uh, if, it's a matter of when. Uh, what are we looking at today? Well, when Powell speaks and he talks, I, I have no clue what to think. You know, you know uh, whether interest rates are raised or lowered, you know, we can discuss to the cows come home how that has an impact on the price of gold uh, and how that has an, uh, an impact on the price of silver. Now, I believe that it probably has a bigger impact on the price of gold, all right? Uh, not so much on silver because silver is such a crooked freaking market that uh, uh, it wouldn't matter. Silver, again, silver market is just crooked and broken. Uh, and again, broken to the downside, which is good for physical buyers out there. Uh, but uh, no less... <clears throat> uh, <laughs> uh, I don't think that the uh, interest rates have a, uh, have uh, any impact whatsoever on the price of silver. Any impact. I don't think raising rates, lowering rates, uh, and a lot of other political uh, fundamental stuff that should have an impact on silver does. You know why? Because the silver markets are broken, 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 broken. Uh, but fortunately for all of us, they're broken to the downside, not broken to the upside, which provides a lot of people a great opportunity to buy this. Uh, 5,000 year old metal on the cheap, all right, on the paper cheap. Uh, and uh, uh, I'll get into that in a moment here. But so platinum is the same. Well, I think that's a broken uh, market as well. Uh, small market, easily manipulated by big, uh, big money out there. Uh, but again, gold, not so much. And where gold goes, silver and platinum will follow. And at some point, again, silver and platinum markets will break to the upside. Uh, when I say break, which I mean uh, crookedly break, because those fuckers will break it. Um, well, anyways, uh, 1950, well, let me do a quick refresh here. Let's see if it's kind of up on the after, aftermarkets here as well. Um, 19, no, about the same, 1951, markets closed, actually, what am I saying? Uh, $24 silver and 1,007 platinum. Coin said a bull that'll be down tomorrow. Perhaps it might be. Let's see what happens. Uh, the market has been capped at 1950 for gold, uh, capped in the crooked markets. Uh, and silver has been absolutely capped at 24 bucks. As soon as it starts making this $24 plus movement, it's capped. And again, this is a crooked, manipulated market right here. $24 is still freaking cheap, in my opinion, when you can buy the physical stuff at those levels. Uh, and, uh, <clears throat> uh, you know, we'll have our day. It's not a matter of when, it, uh, if, it's a matter of when. I keep confusing that. Sorry about that. Uh, platinum 1,007. You know, I haven't looked at uh, Palladium sometime, and I'll tell you why because I don't sell any of it, I hardly own any of it, and that's another good reason why I don't talk about it, so we're not gonna talk about it. <laughs> uh, let's get into uh, yesterday's video, uh, which was destroyed by the truth, and uh, uh, boy, look at that crowd down in Key, uh, down in uh, uh, Key West on Duval Street. That's all. That was the uh, live video that I showed last night, and uh, I'm gonna talk about, uh, uh, by the way, I'm gonna get into some prices here, uh, as far as, uh, 
oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to get into some uh, uh, prices. Sorry about that. I got a little bit distracted there. Uh, prices here as far as, uh, uh, oh gosh, I really got distracted there. Um, <laughs> I can't tell you why either. Uh, let's get into uh, yesterday's video, which was about uh, uh, destroyed by the truth. And then I'm going to get into uh, what the best deals are and what the best deals not are. Uh, as far as gold, silver, and precious metals. Hasn't changed, folks. So if, if you already uh, watched last night, last couple nights' videos on what the best deal is and what they are not, uh, you don't have to finish after this particular screen right here. I'll give you a, a go. You can leave class now. <laughs> uh, but I do want to answer some uh, questions uh, on this video right here as well. So let me go down to the bottom. Uh, let's scroll down here. Rob F. Uh, boy, that looks like you're kind of number one there again. I don't know how... How does he do that? Uh, Richard Lamont says, uh, uh, do not go uh, that if you love your freedom. Okay, I get that. Silver Liner says, sometimes I think AI stands for uh, artificial ignorance. Uh, look at you, Brian. You proved that AI, uh, uh, AI that they manipulate the precious metal prices. Well, yeah, it was kind of an interesting uh, video I did a couple, a week or two or two weeks ago about AI uh, and having a lot of fun with that. And I think, really, where is it? Right there. There's the uh, AI thing I've been... Uh, and uh, gold and silver hedge reasons, silver abundance comparison. Uh, I had a lot of fun with that last week, as you know. And I hope you guys kind of have logged in there as well. Uh, 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 BJ Stomberg says, appreciate the sentiment, another daily dose of reality. Absolutely. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you watching. And by the way, folks, hit that like and subscribe button if you would. And if you see that little bell, that little bell that you hit, I don't have it on my page, uh, but will remind you of when uh, my new videos come out. Uh, it'll kind of pop up and uh, I don't know where it pops up, but anyways, it's a reminder. Uh, Paul Wilson says uh, the, the press, uh, precipice edge is crumbling. I'm a tortoise, not a hare. My family and I are safe thanks to the metals for many years to come. That's what it's all been about. Wealth, preservation, absolutely true here. It's about investing is for wealth preservation, not wealth creation. So first you have to make it, then you have to make sure you can hang on to it, you know, because you don't want to die in a ditch. You don't want to die an old person relying on the government, which I think becomes less and less re reliable all the time, <clears throat> no matter who's in power. Uh, I think uh, 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 being independent and making your own way is definitely the way to go, and gold and silver uh, is a great way to do that, in my opinion. Uh, the anxious stacker says, I'm definitely a little concerned about what we're going to see after tomorrow's announcement by the Fed. Uh, well, it's been for higher prices. I mean, we, you can't argue about the higher prices here. Uh, not that you would, or I would. Uh, I'm really hoping for some good pullback, especially since I'm getting paid tomorrow and I have been itching. Oh, dude. Well, you kind of got screwed on the uh, pullback here with what the uh, Fed said because the markets are up a little bit. But the coin did say a bear, and, you know, it's very possible we could see a pullback in gold and silver tomorrow as well. Uh, uh, but, again, long term, you, you know, I think buy the dips when you can. Uh, Ray Foley says, as someone who is anti-war with huge disdain for duopoly, which at heart are fake narratives. I love your show. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, I actually was a gold miner for Homestead Gold Mine in Black Hills, on the lead South Dakota. Awesome. That is pretty awesome, dude. You should do a video on that. Uh, uh, for my information, Homestake was the first company list on the Dow Jones. Didn't know that, but thanks for sharing that. Appreciate that, Ray. And uh, uh, thanks for commenting. I really appreciate you watching. And uh, again, love commenters. I, I, part of my show is all about answering the comments out here. Uh, Ronald Smith says, uh, uh, screw $23 silver and with no premium. I'll buy for $16, no premium, or if you can have it for dinner. Ronald Smith has set his peg at $16 and says that if it's, uh, 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 he's going to buy at $16. So, uh, Ron, I don't know, man. You know, <laughs> I don't know, dude. I don't, I don't really kind of see $16 price coming back. But if, you know, if it does, man, you were right and buy all you can. That's for sure. Uh, <clears throat> and after $16, I can have it for dinner. Well, I've been eating myself a lot of dinner lately, too, Ron. So, hey, thanks for your comments. Appreciate you watching. Joe McDonald says, I spent a third of my life trying to be a rock star. Third paying for it. And, oh, yeah, I'll never make it that long. Well, most of us don't, uh, Joe. But, you know, you got to have a goal. you got to have something to, to kind of uh, keep your – got to have some carrot in life that keeps you running on that treadmill for sure. Uh, you all have to redo my math on that. I'll get back to you. Absolutely. Thank you, Joe. Uh, Christopher McCormick says, I honestly feel the Fed is willing to wreck equities markets and send us into a deep recession to save face and the dollar as a world reserve currency. Chris, <clears throat> i got to tell you that uh, 
in the very core of my belief, I believe you're absolutely probably correct there, uh, that the Fed, ha the Fed is really not worried about the economy per se because they're not the economy. The Fed has to worry about self-preservation. Self uh, that's what the Fed is primarily concerned about is self-preservation because what good is anything else if they can't preserve themselves? The, the money system that they've created, the dollar that they've created. Uh, so it's really about self-preservation first. Everything else is secondary. So I believe you're absolutely correct about that. They don't care if they wreck the equities market. They don't care if uh, we become a third world country. It's all about saving their own asses. Self-preservation, um, you know, basic animal instinct. Uh, Michael Matthews says, love the opening quote. I did too. I thought it was a great opening quote. Thank you. I appreciate that, Michael. Uh, Stephen W. says, quick follow-up on the cruise missile debate. Someone asked about M1 tanks. Uh, oh, cool. Stephen W. has some cool stuff on this. I think you will might find silver in a tank as reactive armor. Interesting. Whether it's explosive or electrodynamic, speed and reliability are key factors. Those anti-tank rockets are generally subsonic munitions, but a lot of room for error when trying to defeat shaped charges. Um, I'm getting the impression, Mr. Stephen W., that you know what the hell you're talking about. So uh, I'm sharing this because I think it's pretty cool. You sound like you know something about weapons here, and you know something about how these uh, arms work and uh, how silver plays a role in that, which has a lot to do with my video last week about how much silver is in a cruise missile. And I think you answered that uh, very nicely as well. Um, so uh, Stephen W. says, anyway, the point here is to determine the cost benefit of a silver wire versus an alternative. Uh, some research shows a high-performance silver wire is about 40 times a normal wire. Uh, some of that is insulated, but solid or plated silver wire is a main cost. These wires, and if you're wondering what Stephen's talking about, he's talking about these wired missiles that when they fire these missiles, tow missiles, I'm not quite sure which ones they are. There is actually a wire that's attached to them that guides the missile along the whole way until it hits its target. And that speed requires fast reactions, which is requires metals and electronics that can meet those fast reactions and that's kind of what Steve is talking about here as far as silver being used in wire in these uh, 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 weapons. Uh, these wires <clears throat> are mainly used in audio, medical, uh, aerospace and military uh, world. Funny thing about audio cables is people can hear the difference in uh, signal quality. Uh, that's pretty cool. I didn't know that. Signal quality is very important when it comes to silver. Uh, thanks Steve for sharing that. Anyone else that wants to comment on this, I think this is a great opportunity to do that as well. Uh, the one thing not mentioned in all this delivery is uh, all this is delivery systems, <clears throat> be it submarine or uh, Aegis cruiser, cruiser, I think I pronounced that right, or bomber. The decisions to use one of these munitions is putting a capital piece of hardware on the line, not to mention lives and careers. I've seen lowest bid results as much as anyone, but a failure of this weapon is not a good idea. I think the specs calls uh, straight out for the requirement of fail-safe materials, whether it's cruise missile, javelin, tow torpedo tow torpedo or whatever and he's talking about silver and probably the reason that silver is used in a lot of weapon systems fucking great response Stephen w i don't think most people would know this i don't think most people would even talk about this on many channels uh however because of your comment a lot of people are going to know this stuff here and again thanks for sharing wonderful stuff i enjoyed that myself immensely uh hot-headed joe ha ha says <laughs> Uh, they have controlled these markets for many decades. What possibly could happen to take the control away? It's like the Federal Reserve. <clears throat> well, listen, people don't like to be controlled. And at some point in every society, you know, the control kind of spins out of, it spins out of control. And the people that think they're in control lose control. Uh, uh, wow, now I'm getting confused. <laughs> but I, I, Joe, I, don't worry about it, man. It, it's all going to blow up in smoke in their faces at some point. Uh, the truth always prevails at some point. Uh, Philip Stanton says, Brian, what's the coolest thing that came in the shop today? Um, you know, that's a good question. I got to tell you, folks, a lot of that, that is, I'm going to answer this legitimately, all right? Uh, absolutely straight up. The, the coolest thing that came in my shop today is usually, I've, I've been doing this so long, I'm a little bit jaded, so you'll get this answer. The coolest thing that came in my shop today is the people that brought stuff into me. Cool stuff. Most of you would think that a lot of things that my customers bring in are really cool, but you know what's cool than the stuff that I've looked at for decades and decades? I'm still never, never cease to be amazed and, and, and uh, enjoy my customers, the people that come in, uh, the stories that they tell, who they are. Uh, because again, when 
you know, this is a two-way thing. I, I get my enjoyment not from the items that I'm buying, but from the people that I'm buying from or selling to, the interaction that I have with that. You know, I'm over looking at gold bars. I've seen many rare coins. I've bought and sold so many rare coins and paper money and uh, jewelry items and watches, so much cool stuff over the years that uh, it doesn't excite me anymore. I, I shouldn't say that because that's not absolutely true. I'm going to share something with you really cool in a moment here that a friend of mine shared with me that he bought, uh, uh, and he's going to bring it in and show it to me too, even more awesome. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to show something really cool today that came into the store, kind of. Um, again, I'm going to get to see it pretty soon, uh, but hang on for that, Philip. I'm going to show you in a moment. Uh, Walter, Paul says, brought some kilo metal bars from you and uh, uh, metal ore bars. Oh, metal ore, man. What a great old company that was. Uh, or, or what a great company that is, I'm sorry. Uh, still hoping you do the same rare coin commentary in once in a while. All right, you guys wanted some rare coin commentary. Guess what I saw today? Well, I saw the picture of it, all right? A friend of mine, it's a customer of mine. Again, remember, m the most exciting thing to me is the my customers. And I've got so many great customers that I've met over the years and people that I've developed relationships with over the years. And what they bring in is cool, but exciting, not so much people underestimate themselves, uh, not so much exciting as the people themselves that bring the stuff in. I've met so many great, cool people. Uh, and one of the great, cool people that, that I've met here uh, in South Florida recently bought, ready? Awesome coin. I don't think they mind me sharing this with you, which is, I've never seen one. I don't think it's hard to even find a listing of one. Uh, so you want to see something cool that I'll, I, I saw a picture of that a friend of mine just recently bought and is going to actually physically come in and show me. Maybe I'll take a snapshot of it and show you as well. Uh, but a uh, 70S Mint Air Proof 66 overstruck in a 98S $5. It's a real Washington quarter struck on a gold $5 planchet from 1970. S mint on a proof coin. How the f does this happen, folks? This this is so cool on so many rare coin. For all you rare coin nerds out there, this is so so cool on so many freaking levels. It's not even funny, okay? Uh, but I thought you would enjoy this. Yeah, it's the coolest thing I saw today. And the, again, the coolest part of it is the uh, um, the customer that purchased it. That is a again friend slash customer of me. Uh, at my store that, uh, <clears throat> uh, like I said, uh, uh, just loves coins uh, uh, as well. Uh, but this coolest thing I saw all day, all right? So how's that for uh, something really cool? All right, good, bad, and best deals. Uh, uh, oh, by the way, got to do my little uh, advertising here. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And again, hit that bell one more time if you get a chance. It'll remind you when my new videos come up. And again, thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting, guys out there. I really appreciate that. Uh, the coolest thing about my whole business is the interactions that I've had uh, with my customers and with all you viewers out there and a lot of you that have actually come to visit me here in my store. Uh, uh, thank you. I appreciate every one of you. Uh, well, okay. Where are we going from here? We're going to get out of the uh, awesome, awesome error that I saw today, or, or almost saw, that I will see soon in person. Uh, and we're going to get into good and bad deals. Nothing has changed since the last few days out there, folks. Watch last night's video. Last, watch last week's video. Watch two weeks' videos, uh, uh, the video from two weeks ago out there when I talk about what the best deals are. Same exact thing. Uh, same exact products. Bars are still the best deal out there. Don't pay more than spot plus 70. Eagles are like plus 112 or something like that. Uh, don't pay more than that, and everything else is in between. Uh, 100 ounce silver bars are still the best deal out there. What are they? Less than spot plus three bucks or something. Spot plus uh, 250 or 265 or 285. Uh, one ounces are still spot plus three bucks. So a lot of good buys out there in silver. Stay away from Silver Eagle. Still overpriced in my opinion. And uh, I, I'm going to keep that short and sweet. And if you are buying gold, silver, and platinum, you live in South Florida, make sure you visit me at uh, Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals here. Whether you're buying a dollar's worth of gold, silver, and platinum or millions of dollars worth, I'll beat the locals. I'll beat Atmex, SD, JM Bullion, all the big boys out there. And why do I like to mention the big boys? People say, why do you bring up the competition? Some of your people listening to you may not even know that they exist. You know why? Because if you're going to be competitive, who do you want to beat? You want to beat some of the best and the biggest out there and I do for sure. And uh, how do I do it? 
I don't know, small operation, tight ship, all that good stuff. So, <laughs> uh, and uh, uh, don't get me wrong, man. Those companies spend a lot of money keeping their companies going, but uh, uh, I'm doing something right here. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to, uh, 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 if you live in South Florida anywhere or in Georgia and you can make the drive, come down and see the Collectorama Show. I'll be there February 16th to the 18th at the Lakeland Collectorama Show at the RP Funding Center. Go to the uh, CollectoramaShow.com uh, to uh, uh, get free tickets there. If you want to come in, bring your family, bring a free ticket there. You get in for free. Uh, I think door entry is like three bucks, uh, but all kinds of cool stuff from coins, pr uh, paper money, uh, 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 precious metals uh, and all kinds of cool collectibles as well and it's a very nice neighborhood nice place I think you'd enjoy it well anyways catch me there if you'd like uh, February 16th to 18th coming up in a couple weeks meanwhile thanks for watching folks appreciate uh, everything that you do and uh, I hope I uh, um, <clears throat> boy, I hope I bring some value uh, to your lives on a daily basis when it comes to uh, what I know uh, thanks again bye